morning dear students take out your english literature books and turn to page number and turn to page number 85 children today we are going to start a new chapter that is unit 9 a rare species of uncle written by z whitaker children today we will do reading practice of unit 9 so let us first know about the writer of the story so z whitaker is an indian writer who writes mainly about wildlife and conservations okay uh, she loves plants animals and she writes about plants and animals and about wildlife and its conserv- conservation so she become interested in it because of her family member were great lovers of nature so this text is taken from a biography of salim ali children do you know who is salim ali salim ali a well known indian ornithologist children you have read this in your a uh, general knowledge that ornithologist is a person who studies about birds so salim ali is an ornithologist famously referred to as the bird man of india here zay vitakar tells us about her childhood experiences with salim mamu who was her grandmother's brother So let us start reading from the first paragraph. Salim Bhai was my mamu, my grandmother's kamu's brother. By the time I was born, he was living with Kamu and her husband Hasan, our nani and nana in Bandra, Bombay. Children, Bombay is the earlier name of Mumbai. so my parents are both nature lovers and my father zafar futhale became interested in birds through salim mamu my mother like wrote a book with salim mamu called common indian birds quite often when new bird watchers are out in the field one of or two of them look into my mother's book to identify a bird so children in this paragraph we have came across some new words like rare species rare species means an unusual type something which is different next is bird watchers children bird watchers are the people who watch birds in their natural environment and recognize different varieties of birds my brother sister and i grew up in a very nature friendly atmosphere at dinner we often heard words like habitat and ecosystem many discussions about nature and the environment took place around our beautiful old dining table in juhu lane andheri those days i greatly envied my school friends because they could sleep as late as they liked on weekends we on the other hand were woken up at 5:30 am to go bird watching at borivali park which is now a national park sometimes salim mamu would come along too he would drive his willis jeep like a battle tank honking and shouting at every person and car on the road his temper which was never very sweet was definitely at its worst on the road as passengers were learned to shut our eyes and hope for the best children let us know the meanings of these new words nature friendly atmosphere 
children this means a situation in which people appreciate nature and mean no harm to it when you become friendly or habitual with the atmosphere natural atmosphere next is habitat the place where a particular type of animal or plant is normally found next is ecosystem the way in which living things in an area relate to each other and their surroundings next is environment the natural surroundings or world in which plants animals and humans live it is called environment envied means to feel jealous of something or someone next is temper temper is the way someone feels at a particular time we say someone has a good temper or a bad temper etc trails trails means paths that are followed for a particular purpose now let us read the next paragraph at borivali we had favorite walking trails in the forest following pretty streams and waterfalls i was not a great bird watcher and still remain so i keep buying birds books and binoculars hoping that these will magically make me clever but salim mamu definitely had some secret bird finding talent now turn to the next page he could see what no one else saw here what no one else heard he could walk more miles than others younger than he even when he was old he would ride a camel or pony walk for hours in the hot sun and climb up a shaky ladder to peer into the bird's nest as children my sister and i often went to stay with our nani and nana our bedroom the guest room used to be directly above salim mamu's apartment during our stays we always hoped that salim mamu would be away in some jungle or mountain or desert we loved to play hide and seek with our cousins and salim mamu did not like noise when he was working but what is the fun of hide and seek if you cannot yell or shriek when he came up the steps to shout keep quiet we would all dive under the beds in fright however our nervous giggles would soon gives us away so children here dive means jump in a certain direction gets into the blanket okay give us away means to show or tell someone something that one wants to keep secret but we on the other hand had to put up with the noise of his typewriter at 5 in the morning clack 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 there were no silent computers then and he typed most of his books himself when i see his book of indian birds i still grumble to myself i it really robbed us our sleep children grumble means to complain about something or someone robbed our sleep means did not allow someone sleep luckily for us noisy children salim mamu loved young people he certainly used to scold us but the next minute he would catch our necks with his walking stick and make a funny face there was always laughter when he was around and his was the loudest and most croaky croaky means deep and rough like a frog once my cousin and i decided to bake a cake for him on his birthday it came out looking like a small rocky hill however we carried it proudly to the table 
and a 62 years old birthday boy was asked to cut it. After a short struggle, the cake fell on the floor with a thud. Salim Mamu sprang back and peered at the cake. Strange, he said. It didn't break. Lucky, it didn't fall on my foot. Wherever he was, Salim Mamu always had a small army of followers. Many of them children interested in wildlife. Because of him, many people in our family also become interested in natural history and conservation. I have many memories of Salim Mamu, binoculars round his neck, surrounded by little bird watchers, mouths open, staring into space. But most of all, I remember the joy on his face when he was looking at a bird. It did not have to be a rare or colorful one. Even a bee-eater or drongo bought a special light to his wrinkled, sunburned face. Bird watching was his life. So children, here are some new words. Peered at. It means looked closely or carefully at something. Natural history, the study of plants and animals, rocks and so on. Conservation, it means protection of the natural environment. Bee-eater, bee-eater is a small bird, usually green or chestnut colored with a long beak that eat insects. Drongo means a small black or gray bird with a forked tail. So children, that's all for today. Practice reading yourself at home. In the next class, I will explain you the story.